Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at this little ball joint. You can see here I can move this ball joint around and it will fit into these grooves and it doesn't go right through the body. We are wanting to do something like this. So follow along step by step and see if you can do it. To start this off, I'm going to create a sketch on our front plane over here. I'm going to C for center diameter circle and draw this one out to 90 millimeters. Push C again for center diameter circle and this time we're going to do 80 millimeters. So we're going to have that as the thickness of our socket. L for line tool. I'm just going to hover over the center there so we've got our line that it can snap to. I'm just going to be making quadrants here. So we'll do this again on the horizontal axis and there we've got our quadrants in our ball. Next I'm going to go rectangle, R for rectangle, the two point rectangle. Snap it up there. I want this to be 120. Tab to get to that one. This is going to be five millimeters. And enter. There we've got our sketch. Now we're going to start with our revolves. We're going to do two revolves. First revolve, we're going to select this quadrant as well as all of those. The axis will be our Z axis. And you can see there we've got that ball with the stick coming through it. And OK. Now we'll turn the sketch back on and we'll do another revolve. This time it'll just be this bottom section and around the z-axis and it's going to be a new body so you can see there we've got our, our socket with the ball I'm going to turn our sketches off we're not going to need them anymore and I'm just going to put a little fillet on the top here make that five millimeters just to make it look a bit nicer now I'm going to go into bodies and turn off body number one create a new sketch doesn't really matter which plane as long as it's not the top plane so we're going with the front plane we're going to go create rectangle and center point rectangle I'll snap to the origin and I'll go down 50 millimeters and it's going to be make it 11 millimeters wide so there's some tolerance um, then we will fill it and I'll select these sides and this is going to be a five millimeter fillet. So that's five millimeters. And enter. Now I can go extrude. And I'll just extrude this out so it cuts through there. We can see we've got a cut operation. And OK. Now I'll do a little fillet on this edge and that edge. Make it 10 millimeters. Okay, so there we've got the little groove in our ball joint. Now we just want to pattern that. So I'll go create, pattern, and circular pattern. We're going to choose features. You can choose bodies, faces, components, but we're going to go features. This allows us to sec select features from our timeline. So you can see we've got the fillet and that extrude, and the axis will be this circular axis. We want four. So I'll push OK. There we've got our four. I can turn this body back on. I'm going to select both of these. The reason for this is I need components. So right click, create components. Because you can't create joints out of bodies, you have to have components. So if I look now, I can move these around and I don't want that. So I'm going to go revert position and component two, which is the base or the socket. Right click and we'll go to ground. So now I can move these, but the bottom one is staying in place. I'm going to go to joint. The type of joint will be a motion and we'll select ball. So we've got a couple of options there, but we want ball joint specifically. And we're going to select these two. And this should now move in that socket. There we go. But the only problem is I can see it's moving through 
our other component. To fix this, I'll go to Assemble, Enable All Contact. This way, when it comes into contact with the solid body, it won't allow me to move further. So you can see we can only move into the grooves we've created. So there we've got our body with our motion links. What I want to do now is just right click on here and go to appearance. And we're going to just add a bit of color to this. So if you watched any of my other videos, you know I like these anodized colors. They, I quite enjoy them. So I'm going to go with the red and the blue. And for the base, we'll drag this over and drop it on the base there or the socket. And then I'll use this red one for the top part for the ball. Now you can see we've got our ball that moves nicely and fits nicely into the grooves. And that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in this comment section or get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Until next time, bye.